time. I don't understand why every single little thing needs to be an argument with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're done? You're done? All right. Well, I'm done with you. What is up, MK fam? It is Mel, and I think you know what the time it is. It is prank time. So, today's prank, I think this is going to get Kendrick absolutely heated. Do not mind my nails, but... <laughs> If y'all seen the promise ring that he gave me on our one year anniversary, it's not focusing. But this beautiful rock with this beautiful golden band and these other little rocks around it, you feel me? That is something that means obviously a very lot and costs a lot. And obviously it means a lot to him, it means a lot to me. Um, he gave it to me for our anniversary, so it's very symbolic. The prank is that, so basically, we're about to go somewhere. Um, I think we're gonna go to Walmart, go grocery shopping. But on the way, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, I'm literally just going to improvise, but I'm gonna start an argument, like a major argument. Like, a serious enough argument to throw my promise ring out the window. I don't know how he's gonna react to this, I am actually genuinely scared, so... <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll see. I, for, I forgot my purse, so he's back up in the apartment grabbing my purse, and then he's probably about to come out, so we'll be all right. And we always have a camera sitting in our car for whenever we're doing content, so he's just going to not know that the camera's rolling. So, here we go! Okay, he's probably about to come down in a second. He is kind of fucking slow, but wish me luck y'all but before we continue on to the video make sure y'all leave a like comment and subscribe because i'm risking my life for this y'all i forgot to tell y'all i'm not actually going to throw this beautiful rock out the window not throw my promise ring out the window i would be dumb as so basically what i'm gonna do is while he's not looking obviously because he's going to be driving because i'm a passenger princess i am going to be switching the ring with this random sheen ring with some random rock on it and like obviously they don't even really look alike but he's not going to know the difference basically just going to secretly switch it he not going to realize and then boom that's it boom that's it i'm scared but all right back into the prank hi babe thank you i always forget this shit you ready to go to walmart I do have a list of things that um, we need to get. What the hell do you mean, like what? You act like I don't literally have my grocery list shared with you. I know, but like, I haven't seen that you edited anything. So I didn't know that um, was like, Let me read it, hold on. There's a lot of stuff for me, just like. Just it's, it's like a decent amount, it's not too much, maybe like three bags. I do need some more, um, what's it called? I do need some more Clorox wipes and Lysol because that bug problem in the apartment is getting, is killing me. And I don't know how to kill bugs, so I'm gonna just try to intoxicate them with Eliza. Yeah, I have no idea. But I feel like because they were in the bathroom, I feel like maybe they're coming up the drains. But then again, how is a fly gonna end up in the drain? Maybe they just dumb as fuck. Is it bacon? Yeah. I don't need bacon because I'm leaving it, you know, cook it. No, I'm gonna learn how to cook it. I do, I do need it though, like genuinely. Oh, Bruh. Surprised. All right, I need to pick up some more adobo. Um, petite diced tomatoes for when I make pasta for Yeah, I'm finna hit students, bro. They take too long to walk. I definitely almost have ran over a couple students here, but it's okay. Anything you need? No, not that I know. I don't think so. I mean, I ain't even checked, but I don't know if those the hamburger buns are good anymore. Because they probably not, because you don't even, you don't ever keep the shit in the fridge. I don't know, what's your issue with keeping food in the fridge? Uh, like I literally always tell you, no, my mom be yelling at you for it, yeah, because if you don't, if you don't keep it in the fridge, it can grow mold a lot easier, and then grow like random ass little wow. shit that gonna kill you at. Bread to be hard and shit. It's not gonna be hard if you literally just toast it. When you toast it, it becomes hard. What do you mean? Why would you toast bread? Talk Why would you toast bread? I'm talking about hamburger bun. Oh. Why would I toast hamburger? Oh no, microwave them bitches. Yeah, what? They'll become unhard. What I really want to know is where the hell that bug problem is coming from. Maybe you can find the source and we can kill it. I don't know. They're, they're popping up in different 
spot, so I can't like really find like a source. Be an exterminator. Uh, help me out. Uh huh. Exterminate all the weird ass flies for me. I'm a YouTuber. What? I am a YouTuber. You need to be a YouTuber? I say I am a YouTuber. Okay, it's a honey K and don't know how to act. You're sick. You think I'm just gonna turn into an exterminator because I hit a honey K? Yes! You're supposed to be my exterminator! I was. I killed fucking centipede in Okay, yeah, that is true. That was, that was kind of ridiculous. And I've a never, spider. I've never seen that shit like that in my whole life. Do you think we can get Chipotle before we stop at Walmart? Why we get Chipotle? You said why? Because yeah. I'm hungry? I know we're getting groceries and all, but I feel like on the days that you get groceries, like... Because I'll be, I'll be getting groceries, I'll be taking it all back, I'll be unboxing everything, putting everything in containers, washing everything, meal prepping everything. Okay, but Chipotle doesn't count. Like, the ch okay, Chipotle, Qdoba, and I want to say Subway. Like, don't really count as fast food. Like, it is fast food, but like, it's like the healthy version of fast food. I mean, yeah, that's true. But you told me like to not let you get Chipotle. Anymore. Okay, but I'm so saying, but I'm food, saying right? that I want it though. But I'm just going by based on what you told me. Because you also said that like. But I'm you also saying now that I want it. But I, I did that last week, so why can't I just have it just once? Like, I literally, I just want to do an easy meal today because I have to meal prep everything later. I'll make it for you. No, I want Chipotle. Huh? No, what did you say? What did you say under your breath? <laughs> I didn't say anything under my breath. It fucking seemed like it. I, I didn't. You told me not to, like... Told me to stop you from eating out. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm saying that I want it just this one time. I'll, I'll because make, I'm I'll make you a Chipotle bowl. You said you liked it when I made it. You said you liked the one I made better than Chipotle, anyways. Yeah, it was good, but like they just have such like two such different tastes, and like I just I want Chipotle right now. And I also have a I literally have a free entree on my app. Why can't I get it? Told me to not okay, you. but I literally have a free entree. I'd be dumb if I didn't use entree, right? Because I don't understand why you're being so defensive about this. I literally just want my free entree from Chipotle. I'm not being defensive about it. I'm just going based off what you told me. Because then you're going to get upset with me because I didn't listen to you the first time about what you told me. Like, I'm not trying to be harsh on you or nothing like that. I'm just going, I'm literally just doing what you tell me to do. Or what you asked me to do, actually. It's literally, I literally just, I just want it this one time. I don't understand why the hell that's such an issue. I mean, it's not an issue. I'm just, I, I don't have a problem with it, but you're going to have an issue with it later. No, I'm not. Why would I have an issue with something that I want to do for me? Because you told me that you don't want to eat out anymore. I'm just, I'm telling okay, you. Okay, but you're making it into an argument. And this is the thing with you. Like, I've been wanting to say this for a while. Every single time, it's like we have a disagreement. Not even an argument. Every time every time we have a disagreement, mind you, a disagreement is not an argument. It'll simply be, I think one thing and you think another thing. It could be literally about anything. Such as this Chipotle stuff. Like, you are the one that makes it into an argument. I'm literally, I'm not sure. Okay, but if why are you so stuck on what I told you then if I'm telling you right now that the fuck? Because then later on you're gonna hold this against me as the fact that I went against something else that you I'm not gonna hold it. When when have I done that? I'm, I'm not trying to argue. I'm just trying to go to Walmart. You don't fucking piss me off. Every literally, I swear, it's every single time. Every single time. It's literally Chipotle. I can make you a Chipotle. I'm literally, I'm gonna check. I literally, I have, I have a Chipotle gift card. You used it all. 
No, I don't think I did actually. I think I at I least have like ten dollars left, and I'm pretty sure there's a, a free one on my app too. I was with you when you used the last bit of it because I had to use my car to pay for the rest. It was only like five. Yeah, I have a fucking Chipotle gift card. It's in. Yeah, I gave it to you for Christmas. Okay, that doesn't mean that you were there with me every single time I spent on it. I was there when we paid the last one. We was in Florida. Uh, I genuinely this I don't understand why every single little thing needs to be an argument with you. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you. It's like like you do it all the time is where you just think that I'm trying to make something to an argument which is because you're not like just like listen to what I'm saying, like and listen to the tone of my voice because you just tend to just raise your voice at me for no reason. And I'm not trying to argue with you. And I, I'm just trying to I just want to go to Walmart, grab this stuff, and when we get back, the first thing I can do is make you a Chipotle bowl. I tend to raise my voice at you for no reason. That's crazy. That's crazy because every single time I try to bring up something to you calmly, you always get defensive as hell, and then you're over here sounding like, well, what the fuck do you mean, blah, 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 and you raise your voice at me, so I don't understand, like, what? This is your issue, is that you always turn shit around on me. I'm not... Okay. Okay, what? Speak. No, speak. Seriously. I don't, I don't want to argue. I don't. Well, don't okay, but we, but no, but we can't, argue. we can't keep doing this every single time. What are we doing? Every single time there's a minute disagreement. Every single time you're sitting here like, oh, yada, yada, yada. And then all of a sudden you're like, nope. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Like, you don't ever want to sit and actually communicate and resolve the issue. I was communicating with you. I told you the problem to, I mean, I told you the solution to the problem that I can make your Chipotle bowl. And I told you the reason behind it is because you told me whenever you asked to say no, just for the simple fact that you don't want to eat out anymore. And I'm not raising my voice. At, at this point, it's it's past that. You be turning, you be turning disagreements into something that is not. And now you're over here talking about some, oh, every single time you always raise your voice at me, blah, 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 blah. When you are the one that does that and you flip around the conversation and then all of a sudden it's an argument about something else. Why are we arguing and then you, and then you cut it short so we can't resolve any of the, like, because three things sure. that we just argued about. We was literally having a good day. I'm not trying to, we were literally just arguing about a Chipotle bowl. Okay, but what you don't understand is that you can still have a good day, but me, now that we are in this argument i cannot continue to have a good day unless we sit here and actually communicate like fucking adults and resolve this i'm communicating with you i'm just letting you know the issue i'm letting you know the reason behind it i'm not trying to argue with you like it was literally just going back and forth about a chipotle bowl which is unnecessary because it's i told you how this problem can be fixed is that i can make you a chipotle bowl unnecessary is crazy like honestly you're blown like out of proportion because if you think about it it's pointless like you're talking about extra stuff that has nothing to do with the whole situation and i don't i don't get what's it what's crazy what's crazy is that you do that every single time we have an argument every single fucking time uh, you'll be like oh well blah blah, blah and i didn't even do this but you, then you're not even answering the question that I'm actually asking you. Right. Like, why can you never just get straight to the point? You're always saying extra stuff, and now you're sitting here accusing me of saying all the extra shit? Right, you got it. <laughs> I got it? No, because you're the one that be blowing shit out of proportion all the fucking oh, time. Oh, yeah, oh, all, all I ask, all I ask, look at me when I'm fucking talking. Oh, I'm all I asked was, can I... Please get a Chipotle. I shouldn't even have to ask you. Like, we're literally in my car. I'm just doing what you asked of me. And you're blowing it out of proportion by trying to argue. But what I'm asking you right now is that I, I just, I just want to go. I literally just want to go. And now you're going to sit here and you're not going to talk to me for the rest of the fucking night. Right? If it's going to be like right? this, no. What do you mean if it's going to be like this? If all you're going to do is just raise your voice and yell and argue back and forth. Well, I don't want to argue. Then 
no, I'm not talking to you. So what's that mean? I'm just not talking to you. It's crazy because Do you like figure this out for yourself. For myself, all I I literally wanted to just go get something to eat. I'll make and it. I'll and make you it. and you did all this, I'll and make now it. it's here. You have escalated it to here. Yeah, and apparently you don't care. You blah, 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 blah. I'm going to let you figure it out yourself. Like, I'm not talking to you. Every single time we have a disagreement. Every single time you just don't ever end up resolving it. Like, like do you even take this relationship seriously? So why are you even asking me that type of question? Because you don't act like it. Kendrick, your actions don't match your words. How am I dragging it? No, seriously, how am I dragging it? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No, because this shit, this shit, it seems like this relationship literally doesn't mean shit to you. You don't never try to communicate shit with me. You don't consider my feelings. You don't, you dead ass don't. And don't sit here and fucking act like you care. This shit, that ass doesn't mean shit to you. Our over a year relationship does not mean shit to you. No, it fucking doesn't. You're not acting like it. So then why are you sitting here and and not communicating this shit with me? Go oh, figure it out for yourself. Figure it out for yourself. You're done? You're done? Alright, well I'm fucking done with you. What the fuck did you just do? Huh? Bro, what, what did you just It's my ring. Since apparently it don't mean shit to you. It was your... You just... You threw your fucking ring out the window? Yeah. Yeah. You know how fucking hard I worked to get that shit for you? You just threw it out the window. You know how fucking hard I worked to try to keep this relationship intact? <laughs> the fuck does that mean? Exactly what the fuck What does saying? that mean? going <laughs> yo he's sick it's crazy is I literally have the ring inside my purse I'm gonna show ya I'm gonna put it on and then tell him that it was a prank <laughs> yo fucking sp Bam, Team Mel right now, cause yo, <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Hold on, this shit not even working. I'm finna record it on my phone so I can show y'all. Get out. What the fuck do you mean get, get out? out no, I'm not getting out. This is literally my car. Out and go find the ring. No. Bro, get out of the car and go find the ring. No. Listen. Kendrick. Get out of the car and go find the ring. I'm not getting out my own fucking car. Yeah. Go get the ring. No. It, and I didn't even look right through it. 
the fuck are you, like, what is that? <laughs> the promise ring you gave me? Why are you, like, what is all this shit about, man? What? what is, like, what are, like, what are you trying to do here? Because you dare have me tight, like, what is this? I threw a fake ring out the window. I'm dragging it. I'm dragging it. it. Bro, you out of all people know how fucking hard. This shit rolling. You know how fucking hard I work for you to get that fucking ring for you. you bro, you can't do shit like that. Can't tell me that I can't get Chipotle. You know how fucking hard it was to keep that goddamn art like to to find something to argue with you about. Whose fault is that? I just want to, I, I wasn't trying to argue, bro. <laughs> I was just trying to go to Walmart. My bad, gang. <laughs> Some water. No. Do you want to look at it sparkle? Do you want to diamond test it? No, don't. <laughs> Please. No. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Put your damn seatbelt on. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say team milk. Say team milk. Did you even want Chipotle? No, not really. I'm actually kind of craving one of the bowls that you made me. Bro. This is definitely my best one so far. I'm not going to hold you. It's either this or the hickey prank. Fuck is you doing? <laughs> going to fucking Walmart. <laughs> No, say Team Mel. You gotta say Team Mel. We gotta end the video. Hell no. Team Mel's back on top. Y'all, I'm really a god at this prank shit. I really am. <laughs> Who was fucking with me? Not him. W ass prank. I got him real motherfucking good. I do kind of feel a little bit bad, but could be alright because he be doing the same shit to me. So. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on our post notifications so y'all do not miss out on the next time I prank his dumb ass. <laughs> and we love y'all so much and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!